Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic unboxing. You already know, so we got this box right here. Get this open, and you see we got this. We got a box gun up in here. Get that box up out of here, bro. We got this. Bakugan Armored Alliance Pyrus Enoch Ultra Baku Gear Pack. It looks so sick, man. Finally, we get Enoch in Pyrus. I always wanted to see it in Pyrus, honestly, because I feel like it would look really cool. And it sure does, man. Look at that artwork. So, so awesome, man. And it's got 400 uh, shows right there. And it's got a uh, shield with it. So, at least it's getting up to 800. It would be cool if it has, like, a magic shield with it, but... You know, we'll see, man. But anyways, here is the back. And then showing off all of the Bakugan for this wave. So, yo, Diamond Enoch, that pack. Uh, that Bakugan pack. Then Drago, Pegatrix, Feral, Gilator. Uh, Gilator, Sabra, Pegatrix. Well, Sabra, Pyravian, because it says, uh, you know, Sabra, Pegatrix. That's a misprint. It's Sabra, Pyravian, uh, Enoch, and Hydrus, dude. So, yeah, one of the last, I guess the last uh, Baku gear uh, wave for season two. It's crazy to think, man. We're so close to Geogon Rising, but honestly, everything we've seen with Armored Alliance has been really, really awesome. I've enjoyed the Fusion Bakugan. I love the Baku gear packs. Just so much with it, you know, and the transparent Bakugan, man. Really, really well done. But yeah, dude. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, get those out of there. Those there. Okay, it comes with a flame fist too. So yeah, it's getting up to uh, max eight hundred, which that's you know not the craziest, not breaking a thousand, but still it might be worth using. I mean, Pyrus has a really good card pool, so you know. All right, boom. And then, let's the Baku gear. All right, get that out of there, and get that out of there, and. Then the cards. Here we go. All right. Let's see if I can get this tape off of there. All right. We got it. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, uh, let's see. We've got... I guess we'll get into the cores first. So, we've got the Flame Fist right here. Uh, plus three. And then Fusion. Uh, you know, Fusion Bakugan get plus four. And, yeah. Getting plus seven. Could be good for a damage deck. And then we got the Shield right here. Plus 300, that is nice, man. Best shield. Well, I'd say the best one probably being uh, 301 cost less for Baku Gear. But, yeah, man, still. All right, so let's see the sheet. Might as well look at it. It's like one of the last waves, so just to see everything we got. Well, first of all, Champions of Australia, you know. Yeah, I know they fixed some of the bugs and such, which really, really glad about that. Gonna start cranking it big time. Uh... And then, I guess, wow, no, okay, they actually didn't put one in here. Well, that's wild. Maybe we'll see it in another pack, you know. But, anyways, man, the main event, Pyrus Enoch Ultra. Looks so sick. Translucent red plastic. Looks so good, dude. Looks really, really awesome. Plus, translucent orange, uh, you know, for this part back here. Actually, all of it's translucent orange. That's sick. So just full out translucent. That's so, so epic, man. Got the green plate. Got the orange right there. The orange right there for the thighs. Obviously, the wings, that red paint. Looking so cool, dude. And B power of 400. So, you know, getting up to 800 right away. But you get the right setup. Get some magic shields in there. It will be able to break 1,000 then. So, yeah, man. Looks so so awesome, and of course, got uh, the Baku gear. I guess what the Twilight Axe is like, Pyrus Twilight Axes. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, so they clip together once you put it on, you know, they open and such a little bit of opening action with it, and then the side parts. So now we got the cards. Let's see, Burn Cutter three cost, uh, plus 100 and plus five, and also it has one for uh, the shield. And what this means is that it reduces the damage you take with an attack, um, you know, a direct attack by one. So say like they hit you for eight, you actually take seven. You know, the shield helps out with that as long as you flip it, you know, but yeah. Or I think it's maybe like if you flip it while you're like discarding or if you have it on the field, you know, to reduce the damage you take if you lose by one. But yeah, man, still. A little bit of defense with it. And then we've got Pyrus Enoch Ultra, man. 406. So, I mean, it's getting up to, like, max damage 9. It could be used for a damage deck. Or it can get up to 800, uh, you know, regular and, you know, Pyrus. 
just honestly, it's nice being uh, Pyrus because it'll have like Midas Indius to back it up. But yeah, man, that artwork looks so awesome. Just sitting in an arena looking so cool in Pyrus. Definitely love the artwork for it. All right. So got to show you guys how to close it. All right. So let's see head, shoulders, knees and toes, you know, per usual. All right. There you go. Boom. And then this tail and then the top part. And there you go, man. Pyrus Enoch Ultra in the ball form looks so cool. It looks really, really awesome in the ball form, honestly, with all that orange. Now seeing it looks really, really good, dude. All that orange looks so, so awesome. Nice little switch up because, you know, usually seeing majority red. But seeing majority orange, that is really cool. All right, man. So now we got the opening action. Just got to find the magnet. And you can see the magnet right there. Dude, just looks so cool. Love the translucent plastic. Three, two, one, Bakugan, bro. Oh, rolled it too fast. And Funyun rings. Nope. Potato chips. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> kind of just did the jump. But I mean, landing that way is never bad because, you know, picking up two cores easily because having that strong magnet. But yeah, dude, there is Pyrus Enoch Ultra. Looking so, so sick, man. I definitely dig it big time. A little sad that it doesn't hit a thousand. Like, you know, I mean, you know, like I said, you feature it with Bakugan that have some magic shields, then it could break a thousand. But it still looks so, so awesome. And it does get up there decently with uh, damage. I mean, yeah, getting up to like nine right away. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Armored Alliance Pyrus Enoch Ultra Baku Gear Pack. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. Be putting out videos on the regular. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. There it is with the Baku gear. Looks so sick, man. Definitely love the translucent plastic with it as well. But until next time, guys, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm about to here.